Welcome to the Step 2 channel. Um, I know I haven't got a lot up here um, in ages, but uh, that's changing. Uh, over the last six months, of course, there's been a big piece of the channel missing, and uh, not just as far as mental support and bouncing ideas off of, uh, someone to assist with uh, doing research, picking me up, dropping me off, that type of stuff. And I have a friend now that stepped up to the plate to help me with this, uh, Scott. And he has filmed a behind the scenes thing on the last double camper video that I filmed with Crazy Neighbor. Kind of just shows like what happens during the course of filming a video. Uh, a lot of candid stuff, a lot of the, the stuff that hits the cutting room floor uh, on a normal video is in here. And we're just trying it out um, and we're gonna see what we can do with the Step 2 channel. Uh, just filming more of different projects I want to do, stuff like that that isn't camping. I can't just put that stuff on the camping channel because people will be scratching their heads wondering what's going on with me. So uh, we'll see how this works. Uh, he's got a camera that we're going to work on. Uh, the, the audio is a little all over so I've, I've adjusted the audio as much as I could and we're going to get him set up a little bit better and I've found it's really helpful to sink myself into uh, these creative projects, being outdoors, uh, the traveling aspect, it's keeping my mind busy and I am in a good space mentally uh, for if people are concerned or wondering. I'm getting by. Um, there's good days and bad of course, but like the very worst of the days are hopefully behind me here. So um, it may not be very interesting. I will not be taking any offense if people are not interested in watching this type of thing. but. Here it is, if uh, if you care to watch, and so let's let it roll. And thank you, Scott, for uh, filming this for me. There's Steve with the pizza. Hey. We're heading off to Jordan River, actually, uh, about a three-hour drive. We've got to make a couple of stops to get prepared. We're actually going to reserve a campsite uh, one day early, hopefully, so that it'll be there tomorrow. I don't think we have any uh, cards. We have none. Oh. <laughs> you buy the good stuff or the regular? That's what I do. I just uh, literally burn money. <laughs> you know what sucks when you accidentally push the wrong one? <laughs> I did that once on our trip. Right back, uh, <laughs> the, uh, when I first started gas fitting, we would travel all over the place and uh, I would be filling up the truck. You know, my boss said, oh, go fill her up. And it had, I'd been there about a week and I, I, I was the, you know, the, the apprentice, I was the boy that would go and fill up the gas. You know, like, I, I've been doing this for a week or two, and then, you know, I go in and he's meeting us in the in the store after I'm filling up, and he's like, how much was the gas? I was like, oh, it was like 100 bucks. And he's like, ooh, and I'm like, yeah, well, that's premium for you. <laughs> he didn't know me yet, so like, if I had a sense of humor, and for a moment, until he started laughing and figured it out that it was a joke. Canadian Tire. Steve's uh, number one place to get his camping stuff from. There's really not many places to get camping stuff from in Canada. You know, you got your specialty camping stores, uh, but for normal, like, goods, like, not fancy stuff, this is like the only spot other than like Walmart or, you know, you used to have a bunch of other stores. You know, Target was here for a while with Zellers, we had Kmart's places you could go to find this stuff, but now we're down to just a couple of options. We're picking. We need a tent. We need a tent and a couple of chairs. Oh. We'll film until we get told to stop filming. It's less obvious than that like, big camper. <laughs> ah, the camping aisle. Both of my shoes have untied here. <laughs> These have been actually both pretty good. <laughs> Steve's trying his shoes. <laughs> I, I don't have a normal tent. I have weird tents, fancy tents, hammocks, stealthy tents, but I don't have a regular old tent. I have one of these, this is the tent inside a tent. <laughs> That's, that was the inside tent. It was a $55 three-person. 
Oh. So long, four person. So we're gonna leave some of this stuff in the tent. Uh, Mommy said that. Oh, good call. Because nothing that nothing integral to the video that we're filming, but and nothing expensive, but things like uh, you know the air mattress or whatever. We can clear up a little room in here, and that'll help hold the tent down so it doesn't blow away if it gets windy. Jordan River. Jordan River. So we made it to Jordan River. Um, it looks like Sunday is picnic day for a lot of people. It is. People just come out to picnic. Uh, I wanted to reserve a site for tomorrow's video because what always happens is I'll have a great plan and I'll show up and the, the campsites are full. So there are people parked there, but they seem to be off surfing and whatnot. So I can't exactly set up a tent and book it the day before because people are going to uh, have a tent in their way when they go to leave after their day of surfing. So we're gonna have to wing it tomorrow. There should be enough open camping spots here that we can uh, bring in the motorhome and the camper attached to it. And yeah, it should be, it should be doable. And maybe one of the better spots will be open too. And this is our marvelous hotel for the evening. Fun never ends. You ever been stuck in an elevator, Steve? Thought about camping in one though. I'd hate to be in an elevator and somebody hits the stop button and looks over at me and oh god, there we go. This was the first hotel when when me and Jess were traveling, we got here, and this was the first one where somebody at the desk got up and pushed the button for the elevator for us. I'm like, I don't think we belong here. Well, we realized, like in the off season, we're just so horribly cheap that we'd be staying in these places for $70 or $80 or something to try and save money. But for just like $20 more, you could stay at a real place, you know, that doesn't treat you like you're going to be stealing or trashing the room, you know, like... I give up. I give up. Night before the video, going to the market at Millstream to pick up food. <laughs> Apparently. Suspect. You're an expert facer from experience. <laughs> yes, I faced a shelf or two in my life. Made the camera shake. <laughs> Glory <Nice. ball. laughs> Just the name of the dress. Panic. Cage. Loot free. No MSG. Things aren't that good here. Loot free, loot free, loot free. High fiber. Gluten-free oats. Sorry. This looks way more unhealthy. Okay, so we're not getting anywhere looking at this. So we're off to somewhere else to find the fish mix stuff. I think I have some in the RV. Oh. We'll check that out tomorrow. And that would be ideal. We did. And there's uh first crazy neighbor along on the trip, as well as his lady friend. She stays out of the videos, but she's gonna eat too, so I wanna make sure that we've got enough food for everybody, because uh, that would be embarrassing if the first time I'm filming a video with not enough food and a lot of people. Steve, there's free wine tasting from two to six. Mm, 15 minutes left. Seriously, so with just nothing but wine in it? That would be unfortunate. Well, I suppose that's probably why it says everything wine. Yeah, I'm not seeing any beer there. Uh, <laughs> they don't use plastic bags anymore, so I've saved the subway plastic bag. 
course it is. I gotta eat it later on, and I don't want it to be dried out. Don't, don't need much more than this in life. <laughs> and I just went to the wrong car. <laughs> and I, I'm glad the alarm didn't go off. I just tried to totally open that car. It's the problem with Steve's white car. It's like every car looks the same. I'm not used to what he drives. I did that on purpose. Stealth <laughs> here this way. <laughs> should keep everybody quenched. That's good, we've saved about an hour of time tomorrow uh, doing all this, because it's, when you're when you're up at nine or 10, and then you got an hour to drive out to the campsite, you also have to hook up the camper, you gotta double check that you've got everything, uh, but you have to throw on another hour worth of stuff to the morning list is never good. It always seems like you could just grab a few quick things on the way out of town, uh, but it's not the case. Every minute earlier we get out there, there's a minute more we can film because we only have one night there. Uh, that poses a bit of an issue because they're gonna wanna camp for two nights and they're our ride. Original, loaded with gluten. Let's do this. What time did Crazy Neighbor say he would be the place where your trailer is being stored at? The crack of lunch. We are leaving the beautiful hotel we just stayed in, heading over to the, where the trailer is, gonna load up and uh, meet Crazy Neighbor, I think, over there. And uh, woo, got taxis coming. <laughs> I'm not a hotel newbie. Anyway. Charging? Yep. So we're camping for two nights, apparently, so Steve bought um, some dogs and some onions, and uh, we need a fresh bakery, apparently. Yeah, there's one just down here. We're not <laughs> gonna use factory bread. And this is like an easy meal that I don't even think we'll really film this. Uh, we'll, we're certainly not gonna film cooking hot dogs. It's not a recipe of any kind, but uh, that way we can relax when we get there, set up. It's not a rush to do some meal prep. This is easy. We have to dice some onion. Then the next day we'll have the good meal. Uh, but we have to eat this tonight because those buns will be not too fresh by tomorrow. <laughs> Just pile it in, the rest of the stuff. <laughs> Packing her in here. Packing her in. There we go. That's, uh, they didn't have, uh, birthday cake in there because I was oh. hoping to get you something. <laughs> but instead you're gonna have hot dogs. <laughs> hot dogs is good. Just like like every kid's birthday they get hot dogs and ice cream. So gotta find firewood. That was a nice little bakery. Cobs. Are we taking your car out there or are we all going with we're all gonna pile we're into the gang pile in there. Oh goody. Yeah, that'll be fun. No We're kidding. Great. Neither of us have to drive. No kidding. I'm going to squirt into this gas station here because I think I did see some. And I know they're going to be million dollar bundles. But we need a fire. Um, there's no two ways about it. Driftwood just isn't going isn't gonna to do the trick. Okay, how bad are they? How bad are they? $11.99. $11.99. Uh, they're pretty small, but I've seen worse. I got four of them. We're there for two days. Like this is like an hour's worth of fire. Mission accomplished. So all we need now is a substantial quantity more of um, step two. We're gonna be there twice as long. I think we're getting the 48 pack, but I'm, but I'm not sure. Much beer will be had on this adventure. This will suffice. <laughs> Another 24. Well, we got you. Four people for eight days. No, four <laughs> people for two days is eight meal days of people. That would be like one person going for eight days. That'd work out to a six pack a day per person. And 
and uh, is that too much? The government of Canada says so. New reports say so. Two a week or something, or one a week or none at all. So we'll have to find out what can be as good to drink as beer. Maybe water or I don't know. This is Crazy Neighbors Motorhome and we have a problem. The the holes don't line up and this isn't enough clearance. So we are off to Princess Auto or somewhere like that to get a longer insert and a proper fitting adapter. Okay, let her down now. No, it's not gonna clear. It's not gonna clear. It's only half an inch, quarter inch. Yep. What a rod. We can do this. Yeah. You Just attach the ball first, it. and then you back up to the receiver. <laughs> Thread it in. <laughs> There's a way to do it. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay, well, let's just go get another one. We'll take this one with us. It's got to be longer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what about our, our chain's going to be okay? These are not long chains. And you got to turn. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need longer chain. This needs a quick little bump. Give her a quick push now. Give her a quick push? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll push. Oh. Oh -hoo. How about loaded. that? You're not long enough on the chains. Oh, you yeah. <laughs> I saw that problem coming. <laughs> yeah, you won't be able. To, you wouldn't be able to turn. If no, the no. Would be skidding. <laughs> yeah. Flasheroo. We've got. We've got lights. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, this is the type of weather I like. It's glad I'm not in a hammock or anything. <laughs> Actually, hammocks are pretty good. They'll keep you dry, but you have to stay under that hammock. Like you can't, if you go walking around to look for firewood or something, you're gonna be soaked. But yeah, if you're just underneath of the hammock, it's good. A tent is a very bad situation because then you're just literally sitting in a tent. You can't do anything. And, this type of a rain over, I don't care what type of a tent you have, if you're touching the side or if anything's touching the side, it's gonna soak through eventually. Going quacky for crazy neighbor. You're good? Oh yeah. Awesome. So I'm gonna get kind of an intro to the video here. Hey everybody, welcome to Camp with Steve and crazy neighbor. You don't have to do this when you're driving. Um, <laughs> I think this will be good and I have good friends with me. Okay. We've made it. Uh, gonna see what we got for a campsite. There's a few different things we could do. Uh, side over here, they're wide open. There's not a whole lot of uh, trees or privacy, but it is right on the beach. And up ahead, there's some other spots in the woods that we're gonna check out and uh, this will be interesting to back up into one of these sites, but there's plenty of room. Uh, we just have to kind of back it in straight. So I'm gonna check up ahead and see what we got for sites. Crazy neighbor's an awesome guy, but the worst thing you ever have to do is help him back in a trailer. How's it going? Oh, not bad. Just trying to deal with this disaster. This is a disaster. Oh yeah. It'll clean up quick though. It's just too much stuff and not enough cupboards. I gotta figure that out. If I can be of help, just let me know. Oh, for sure, thank you. You're welcome. I cannot seem to find my beer. Mm. Inside the door of the motorhome. Oh, awesome. Oh, no, I don't know which one I gave you, but uh, the other ones are there. Yeah, yeah there we go. You got it? Yep. Good, good. I hear the sound of success. Yes. Oh, the detector? Yeah. Clear on. Just to keep things safe. Safe as possible. 
finally getting things organized. That's a relief. Right, a lot of the campgrounds here have no garbage cans in the winter. So you got the camera in the tree? The camera's in the tree. Oh yeah, yeah. good, good, good. See. The only thing is if they're, if, the, if his mic is off then. Yeah, I brought uh, Steve's old camera too, the Sony Alpha 7. You can tell if he's filming, right? There should be a red light on his camera there at the window and it looks like it's not, right? I don't know. There should be a light on the camera when he's filming, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, you're good. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I had to put a hoodie on. I was getting chilly. Oh, yeah. Got to stay warm. Yeah. Cord control? Yep. Mm -hmm. well, thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you guys. Crazy neighbor, a mic. Hey, Mike. Steve, right on. Nice to meet you. This is um, Hi, Mike. Scott, pleasure. Right on. Got a brother guys. named Mike. Do you? Yeah. So you won't forget my name. <laughs> That's <then>. right. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not going to bug you guys, but I. You hear this in shirt from a lot of people, but you're a funny guy. Well, thanks a lot, you Mike. Know, your videos are great. Thanks, yeah. thanks, Mike. Had half the soup is not watching. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, this is a fun spot. We got a stick for you guys. Uh, I see you're on number yeah. two already, or, or step two. Yeah, this is actually the first step two of the day. But okay, I, you know. it's my second. You got the got a sticker for you. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's like a beer. Uh, no, I'm okay, but I can't believe you charged 30 bucks for this. 30 bucks? I don't think so. All right, fine. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> so, free, free for anybody who wants to come by and say hi. As I always keep a bunch with me, and I don't I brought mind. some more up for you, too. Yeah. It's like, yeah, people it's see really me. really nice. If people recognize us, they definitely deserve some stickers and selfies. And, it's, and some good chat. So. Well, you've got soup talking. <laughs> oh yeah, don't remind me about that. They're gonna yeah. shut down Whiff and Spit because of you guys. <laughs> oh, Mostly no. because of Steve. <laughs> well, it's uh, you see, I saw there is uh, a lot of activity around there, no okay. doubt. Uh, yeah. There's quite a number of people. I didn't expect them up so early in the morning. Though. Yeah. So uh, folks are walking their dogs late tonight. They're all loggers. They all wake up. Yeah. Early. Yeah. Loggers and fishermen. Well, uh, yeah. Then it's six in the morning. There's people on the trails, and oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Well, Looks like you had fun though. I did. I did. Yeah. It, it was great. Like when I went out on a fishing tour, uh, I went out with Mav and we left from the launch there by the West Western. Yep. And that's where I saw it. Like I used to live here and I'd walk down with this bit a few times and I didn't notice it. But also mm -hmm. back then, it was 10 years ago, I wasn't doing these crazy campouts. Yeah. So I wouldn't have really noticed it. And when we went by on the boat on the charter, I looked over and I'm like, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I'm like, I have to camp in that thing. Yeah. yeah. And that you know, was great. I snuck out of there. I didn't, uh, everywhere I go, like if it's, if it's a smaller town or even in Langford, that was the inner, the, uh, the, 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 roundabout. the roundabout. Yeah. yeah. And then good. it's like, you drive by there and recognize us. Oh yeah. Yeah. Check, <laughs> check news was like, wanted to do. I'm like, Oh, okay. I've already, I've already done this. I probably, shouldn't irritate the locals too much or terrorize these towns too much with these videos because I don't want it to draw like copycats to come down and like oh suddenly there's yeah. people camping at the whipping spot whipping spit uh, shelter yeah. yeah but I just couldn't resist it it had to be done oh it's so funny <laughs> that's so funny well it's good though I, I like how you were saying I pretend I'm a photographer yeah, yeah. Uh, that's 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 pretty good I gotta start using that line it's, it's pretty <laughs> pretty close to the truth uh, maybe taking videos and photos used mm -hmm. to say and yeah, like it's maybe I'm there just to catch an early morning sunrise and I want to be there mm -hmm. before anybody. There's totally. lots of excuses. Or totally. I'll just pay the fine and leave. Yeah. Right? Like, I'm it's, having the camera <laughs> trip with you. It's a good <laughs> The soup charge fines if you're caught it's, camping like that? Here's an interesting one. Uh, CTV was doing the news story about me and they're interviewing me at Roundabout. Oh, really? Okay. And there was somebody waiting there. Okay. And to, to ticket you? Uh, well, they were a bylaw officer okay. from Souk. Okay. And he had a little note for me, and he's a big fan, and just wanted to... He was trying to see if he could find my vehicle somewhere, and then he brought his kid down, and they looked at the roundabout, and, you know, we just happened to be there with the news crew filming, and and he says, you know, like, I'm a bylaw officer at the Suit, so it's like, I know I have somebody that hopefully isn't going to throw me under the bus in <laughs> yeah. Suit. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, there's... It's, there's there's a fair assortment of, uh, you know, like, park rangers, police, there's retired detectives that watch the channel, they love it. And it's really, what, what am I doing? I'm just sleeping in the, 
I'm not first person, I'm sure of it. And I at least didn't start a fire like those other guys. I'd see little fire rings in there. <laughs> I'm like, fire rings, yeah. it, it'd be nice because it was cold, but yeah. come on, like that's pushing the pushing the luck too far. That's funny. You know, Steve, because of you, every time I drive by that Nanaimo sign, <laughs> I think of you and then that little mini explosion that you had there. Yeah. Like, that's where it happened. That's where the magic happened, yeah. yeah. Like, that's so funny. You guys, well, I hope you enjoy your stay. Thanks, man. Um, I think at this point, we can pretty much call you a local. <laughs> I'm I, Going forward, I'm going to be... That was already the plan, was that I'd be living here in the winter. Yeah. You know, I'd come October, leave yeah. out April. And uh, that way I can have my birthday back at home with uh, the in-laws. And mm -hmm. then I'm back in time for uh, Justin's birthday um, in April. So mm -hmm. that's April 1st. And, mm -hmm. you know, we had talked about, you know, you know buying something out here um, eventually. Or, or maybe just, you know, renting something in the winter. And then, yeah. Because it's so easy to film videos here in the winter versus minus 38. And we've got a haul propane. And yeah. they're always cold. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Camera gear doesn't work. And that's right. You can't beat the scenery or something. Yeah. And the folks well, are friendly too. Like, like. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Most, I, uh, most I'm starstruck. That's why I'm so nice right now. Oh, uh, <laughs> normally it's your. <laughs> I went through that. Did you? <laughs> I sure did. Well, I gotta be honest. I would have driven right by if I hadn't seen Crazy Neighbor. See, you're not keeping a low profile. <laughs> and the hat. Nope. It was the hat. <laughs> it just it drew my attention because I saw the hat as I'm going by, and right. then. It all started to make sense because of the egg. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and then I thought, oh my gosh, I bet you, I bet you it's them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right on, guys. Well, enjoy your stay. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Stay safe oh, and uh, and uh, enjoy those uh, step twos. We're so, bound to yeah. enjoy a bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much right for uh, stop by, sir. Well, it was good to see you. Take care. Safe travels sure. home. Really good to meet you, Mike. Likewise. Thank you. Oh, it's so clean in here, Steve. Look what you did. Wow. It's getting better. It's amazing how much bigger it actually is in here from oh, the yeah, outside. Oh, yeah, that's with, like, still not fully cleaned up. But, like, yeah. Yeah, from the outside, it looks just tiny. But, yeah, we've had, like, six people in here, you know, <laughs> two sitting at that dining and, then, yeah. you know, four of us at the tables. So there's still room, but, like, Very cool. yeah. Let's take you out for your birthday, away from your family, and drive you far <laughs> from any cell service. <laughs> This is just how I pictured, like, when I was going to come up here, take a camper, and just, you know, I envisioned just parking it up here, right on the beach, sitting here with my guitar, writing yeah, some yeah, music, yeah, yeah. eating the food, watching movies, popping popcorn. Yes. Checking it out. Let's see what low light performance is. Ooh, that is nice. That is. That is. We got a few clubs left here, Steve. I'll grab us a couple of beers. Okay, sounds good. Try to grab Lucky's if you can, because mm -hmm. we're on Vancouver Island, and that's yeah, well, their beer. Yeah, well, they're right by the door. Though. Awesome. Yeah. So with my ISO, <clears throat> I set the maximum for this at. Uh, I, I set it down at 225,000. 20, but if I were to pump it right up. Oh, wow. That's, I would never possibly. I would never possibly film at this level of ISO. Would be too much grain? It would be. Like, it doesn't look too bad on this screen. Yeah. But. See, that's about. That's about as perfect of a framed shot as you can get with the rule of thirds in there. Mm-hmm. Be down a little bit actually. Okay. Crazy neighbor. Cheers, Steve. We made it. Yeah, we did. Here's to a relaxing, normal camping trip where nothing will possibly go wrong. Well, that's not gonna happen.
<laughs> okay. Wait. Something's gotta go wrong. Go. started. I love that sound. The fire's gone out. So we're kind of hunkered down in here for now. Fairies dancing on the roof. It's an interesting way to put it. Uh, yeah. Fairies. Okay, that's not going to work. <laughs> that's going to work. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, yeah. Little fairies dancing on the roof. It just came by the way of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was looking for, which I don't have. What are you looking for, Steve? A bowl or a plate or something like that. I got Actually, lots of paper plates. You want a paper plate? Uh, yeah. I got paper. lots of them. You got some I'll tapes. Grab, I'll, I'll grab all three of them just to make sure we got enough. Oh, thanks. Uh, right just there. two beers, or do you want me to take a couple extra? What do you do with these boys? <laughs> That's why I asked. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at this. Reminds me of walking, talking, eat pack. <laughs> I guess the way the video is going to go is that I'm going to slice, slice, peel it off, and say, all right, I'm going to dice an onion. And I casually whip this out onto the table and uh, run the onion through. I can't run it through. I think if I run it through that way, it will dice it better, because this way is a long... Yeah, piece. you'll get long pieces. Yeah, so that way will get us diced. Yeah. So, plop her in that way, punch her through. Wow. Beauty. All right. Be it alive, and now we are camping with Steve. There's our here. That's right back here. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Very nice to be out of the rain, of course. And uh, we're just cooking some dogs tonight. Smokies, actually. Smoked sausages. All beef. Um, so I'm going to dice an onion here. Ah, oh, my thumb! <laughs> So, do we get to build ourselves a little house for our smokies, or...? We are going to steam them on the oven, because uh, awesome. the fire is a no-go. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yep, now I'm crying. My <laughs> eyes are burning. Oh, my God. got the windows open. Oh, yeah, we got the roof vent open, too. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Job. I don't want to set it down on there again because it's going to... Okay, well, if you ever want to open up an onion chop, you start, we got the tool. Let me do. don't have a spoon anywhere, so... I'll dig from this side, you dig from that side. Works for me. Alright. There we go. My favorite is the onions. Mine too. I need some lots of that yellow stuff. Mm -hmm. I think they call it mustard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
right? Big day tomorrow. Um, so simple night tonight. So we going to surf it? <laughs> There's surf out there. I saw surfboards. There's people out there that do it. I did not happen to bring my wetsuit or surfboard with me, but uh, well, perhaps right. in the future I can learn how to do that. That's a, that's a game for future, Steve. That's a problem for future, Steve. And uh, yeah, cheers. Cheers. Well, you know, if you go to Tofino, mm -hmm. they have surfing there, and, and they they have lessons and rental shops there. Oh, cheers. So maybe we'll try that. Mm -hmm. So when you buy those, you buy them by the case? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here, pass me the package, I want to check it out when you're done with it. Absolutely. Uh, After you squeeze all of the goodness out. Yep, the delicious. Yellow dye number five. Uh, that's actually a, it's coconut oil with carotene in it. Um, because, of course, I know that for some reason. But <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh, it's got yellow number five. Oh, it's got number five in there, eh? Oh, yeah. And six. Oh, great. It's got natural and artificial flavors. Can't beat the <laughs> double whammy, right? <laughs> this is like one of my go-tos for the winter when I thought I might be sitting in this camper watching rom-coms. Uh, doing not much on the beach and I thought I'm gonna get this popcorn pop popping machine and sit out here really enjoying you know peace and quiet and escaping reality and a proper popcorn is necessary so I bought the case of this movie theater popcorn and this whirly pop thing which Probably gonna start to hear some pops relatively mm. quickly. Yes, I know people say you could just shake the pot, but uh, this is funner and it's actually designed for a four ounce. Oh, there we go. I know when to pull it off because it's full and I can't crank it anymore. And this is authentic movie theater style. So, and you have a taste. Oh yes. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and leveling and all that, so. Oh, that's all right in. Oh, awesome. Like a nice, controlled, steady, perfect pan. Sweet. Sweet. I know, I know, right? Like, it's like, they're crashing. Insane. <laughs> yeah, a couple hours ago, you couldn't see any of these rocks right here.
I'm not anticipating that it's going to be a clear weather overnight. Um, I got the feeling it will be more like this. Yeah. Well, here comes the sun. Yes. That's the perfect break. I'm going to set this up. Snake this cord back in there somehow. Before we set up the gazebo, we're going to test the starling. No idea if this will work in any way whatsoever. I think this is more industrial than what we require. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, there's going to be some fish and chips cooked on this, but it also would hold the walk just perfectly. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look, I see stairs now. Well, I do have that, uh, this little lighter bind from the power station. We get more lights or are we aboarding the mission? No, I think we're aboarding. I'd have to see what I can find because we won't be able to see a thing. This one's a little wonky. Uh, that just doesn't work well with the film. Making fish and chips. And the fish is really frozen and you just got to put it in bags and then into some room temperature water. We salvaged a little bit of water from the river so that we don't waste our spring water. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna heat this up in yesterday's popcorn thing because I gotta wash out the popcorn anyways. This is all sealed in bags, so it's not gonna contaminate anything, but uh, I can do two things at once. Clean out my popcorn pot and uh, thaw some fish. Thank you. It's all gonna catch the fries with a bucket. The situation. Spot focus. Which is the spot focus button? Uh, it, if you touch the screen, it does a spot focus. Yeah, that's, that's the maximum size of the potato I can get in there. That's good because that's like the biggest one. Okay. And that'll be a standing up thing. It was a lot harder to slice than that onion was. How did you ruin your camper? Well, let me tell you all about it. It goes back to about 2003. All right, all right. <laughs> That's all the fries you get out of one potato. Miserable. You want to cut them in half? Oh no. Try it. I will need to stand up to get this. Of course. Oh, I'm gonna break this table. Oh, 
here's the big one. Oh boy. Just, just fits in there. There, cooking with Steve. That's a lot for us. Okay, that works. <laughs> I'm not in a reflection of the window or anything, am I? Oh, no, I don't think so. This will be a close-up on the uh, rise situation. It's probably pretty full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Too much? Find out, I guess. Yeah, I think I gotta scoop some of this oil out. Before it gets hot. A smart thing to do. We can just extract some of it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> uh, see. The uh, fries have got to dry out before we start frying them. If they're too wet, you know, water and oil. Steamy. Yeah, it is. You're going to make this look so easy on your video. I'm <laughs> watching you painfully. I think it's somewhat easy. It's easy as possible. Is that good on me? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this is a bad time to be doing this. Film, Steve. Really bad time. Uh, okay. Is that a light golden color? I'm colorblind. Would you say that's light golden? Mm -hmm. It's still a little white, I think. Yeah. That's light golden. I've ever seen it. Try one. Mm -hmm. Dripping on it. You've got water on your camera. Uh, so don't do what I'm doing. Don't deep fry in the rain. Um, this just happens to be the meal I had planned, and I would back out if I could, but I uh, got crazy neighbor, this lady friend, he goes for fix.
Thanks for having me on my birthday. You're welcome. Right. And um, I'm, I'm honored you, you uh, spent your birthday with me. Um, <laughs> instead of your poor, well-deserving family, they would have loved to see you. I feel bad. Does crazy neighbor always go to bed this early? No. No, it's rare. I didn't even catch on fire. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> you tired? Yeah, I could sleep. <laughs> Me too. We just have to get out of here on time to get you to the airport tomorrow. Morning, sweet. There's so much work that goes into these videos, so much preparation. It's been so much fun. Um, I fly home today. It's been a short but amazing trip. Staying out of their camera and letting them do all the work is very strange. And I am so incredibly grateful. And that, I mean, I just don't know how to explain the kindness of Steve. I mean, he found out it was my birthday and he's like, hey, come film behind the scenes stuff on your birthday. And I was like, what? Like, who the heck gets this opportunity? Um, I, I have no words to describe how I feel. It's been an incredible adventure, um, driving around with Steve for the last few days and Crazy Neighbor as they do their thing. And I'm like, I don't know what I did to deserve this. I'm just incredibly thankful and grateful um, for the generosity and kindness that both of them have shown to me, and I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know how I was chosen for this, but I'm so happy. Let's see if I can get a bit closer to the action. Let's go around back. So, uh, well, we're still fine. Okay. Okay. We can't really go there uh, yet. So, uh, all right. So, uh, thanks, everybody. Um, and we'll see you on something stealthy next week. You want me to stop the recording? Sure, thanks. All right, what can I do to help you now? A behind the scenes video about making the video has more footage than the video. <laughs> yeah, but that's just because it's me. <laughs> By Jordan River, we're pulling out of here, campsite's clean, and I'm um, heading off uh, back to the airport to get out of here. <laughs>